living so long is like alchemy. All right, here we go. Milwaukee in New Orleans. I kind of stumbled across this game, but I was very intrigued to see two of the best, longest, biggest athletes in the league in Antetokounmpo with that post game. And what I find so interesting about Antetokounmpo is he gets into the lane. You don't post him up, right? He dribbles and drives into the lane, but then he really has like a post game, right? He kind of has a, a traditional post game once he gets to the rim because he doesn't want to shoot a jump shot. This is just nasty footwork from AD and then Pete DeMarcus on the sidelines but this was one of the most entertaining games i've seen thus far this year it was just intriguing to see these two go at each other and what i noticed was while anthony davis is so much more skilled than Giannis, Giannis just has that nasty you know blood so throw it up throw it up two hands and you know i have a, that you know how he hangs on the rim like shaq i feel like that may preserve his career because he goes to the rim with such reckless abandon don't shoot that don't shoot that. But Eric Bledsoe plays so much bigger than he is. But Giannis, when he hangs on the rim like that, much like Shaq, it avoids nasty come downs on feet or just whatever, and it avoids the big impact come down. DeMarcus chases it down, and DeMarcus low key is a shot blocker. It's just if he's paying attention and not whining to the refs, he can get a lot more, right? Drew Holiday continues to be impressive at the two guard spot. Him and Etwan Moore just doing things. Darius Miller. This New Orleans team is better than people, I think, understand. And they could be a team that gives people problems in the first round as an eighth or seventh seed. Jameer Nelson, great pickup. Whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. But look at Boogie. Flashes the athleticism, man. And he honestly is the closest thing I've seen to Shaquille O'Neal. If you want to talk about size and quickness. Giannis, he hunts no parts. It's crazy how he gets where he wants when he basically has no hesitation. Why Why are you biting on his hezzy? He's not going to pull up. Jameer, Boogie, got it. The dagger. And New Orleans takes care of Milwaukee at home. Okay, man. Yeah, that was a fun one there. And you saw my style was a little different because I'm not going to pretend to not act like I, I know the, you know, the deep details of these two teams, but I have seen the Pelicans a bunch because the Warriors have played them what, like two or three times. Haven't seen Milwaukee as much. Um, the th I, the, I think I probably love this more than anything that's going on in the NBA right now. Gary Payton the second, right? Gary Payton's son is being coached by Jason Kidd. So all my Bay heads understand like the synchronicity of that and how dope that was and not to mention he ain't a scrub this ain't like nepotism man he was playing heavy minutes in this game and i looked it up he's only 6'3 i don't know what his wingspan is but dude was dunking and elevating and finishing like he was like a six foot seven player um and he you you just you can see he's you could see that he's his father's son right just the tenacity and kind of the confidence he played with i thought that was super dope milwaukee ended up coming up short and I, I i was trying to talk through the highlights a little bit about what i was seeing Giannis is really kind of revolutionizing the game because he handles the ball like a guard right and then he gets into the paint but then he finishes like a big man he'll like turn his back and he has like nice pivots and spin moves but i still think it's crazy that if you pay attention to him out on the perimeter he he doesn't really even look up at the rim so i don't know why you're biting on hezzies with him i guess it's just it's hard not to but like i don't even like he's getting where he wants without a jump shot at all without even a thought of one and and he's so the hesitations can you imagine if at some point he can develop one because it's not broken it's not that ugly of a release man and he it was the real intrigue was him versus anthony davis and like i said anthony davis is probably twice as skilled and, you know, people are probably Giannis fans are going to get on to me. But you want to talk about skills, basketball skills, dribbling, shooting, the skills of the game. Anthony Davis is far more skilled. But Giannis's body, he's so much stronger. I won't say so much, but he's stronger than Anthony Davis. And he has one of those bodies you can see in his muscle fibers and the way he's cut that, like, his body's going to hold up. He's And then to compound that of having the stronger body, he's just nastier than Anthony Davis, right? He's a little more nasty. He wants to go at your neck and he just has, a, he just has so much swag, which is, it's, it, it, it's thankful if you're Milwaukee, right? Because Milwaukee, no, don't get me wrong. Y'all got a lot of nice players, but they're swagless. Brogdon, swagless. Tony Snell, swagless. Chris Middleton, swagless. And what I mean by that is that style, right? They don't have no style to their game. They're, they're solid players. But I think moving forward, and I know y'all got Eric Bledsoe, 
But down the stretch of games, what you're seeing is Giannis has no go-to move. And so you're going to need another guy, and I know that should be Jabari Parker in an ideal world, that can get his own shot down down the stretch of games because it's going to be real tough in the final two minutes when Giannis doesn't have a go-to move and can't really pull up and shoot. It's going to be tough for them as it to, to close out close games. Now, moving over to the Pelican side, man, I mentioned Jameer Nelson. That was a great pickup. He He's involved. He does a lot of little things that the stat sheet doesn't show, just kind of controlling tempo and not having to rely on Rondo too much, man. But um, I think New Orleans, I think New Orleans is going to do is, is going to do some things here. I think they're going to maintain and they're going to stay in the playoffs. And you look at it, you look at their roster now. Obviously, health is the number one concern, but adding Rondo, right? And then you've got Anthony Davis and you got DeMarcus Cousins. Those are three guys that you don't ever have to question their competitiveness. Your three best players, you could argue Drew Holiday is probably better than Rondo, but your three leaders of the team all have that, that I'd rank their competitiveness at 10. Right now, they've got some other issues, Boogie. Right. But they always are competitive every night. You're never going to ask, man, they ain't really playing that hard. Right. They may lose focus. But so you've got that going for you. And then Darius, is it Darius Miller out of nowhere shooting the three ball and um, and Etwan Moore. Etwan, what the hell? Etwan Moore, like, I don't know what to say, man. But he worked on his game. Props to him. Again, another guy that plays much bigger than he and I think he actually is as far as like finishing around the basket and stuff so that was a fun game I had I, I took some notes on it um anything else I want to cover yeah, yeah, yeah there was one last thing I'll edit that and that was unsmooth I can't have that long of a pause but anyway um what one thing that I wanted to cover and I, and people because people are gonna say you're saying Demarcus Cousins is like Shaq now hear me out here's what I'm saying I'm saying that as far as a size, not 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 height, we see guys obviously KD, Giannis are seven feet tall, a size like a, a physical weight, talking about almost 300 plus pounds, and Boogie slimmed up. But the quickness, right? I'm not talking about speed. I'm talking about quickness with their feet and their ability to get up and, and finish. And, and what reminds me is that spin move. They both have that spin move when they have a head full of steam, and then boom, the big finish. And Demarcus more skilled than Shaq, right? But he's not not nearly as strong as Shaq. Shaq, it was a lot more bulldozing. But I'm just saying, as far as weight, size, and strength, and then quick combustion. Combined quickness, I think it's the closest thing we've seen to Shaquille O'Neal with those physical attributes. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.